the dragon and two foxes by francois fenelon this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox org the dragon and two foxes once upon a time a dragon sat brooding over an immense treasure and to secure it never closed his eyes to rest two foxes well versed in every sly mercurial art insinuated themselves into his favor by fulsome flattery and adulating address he entertained them as his friends and confidants we ought always to be jealous of men's forward protestations and artful complacence too often flows from a perfidious heart they pay their court to him as to a king applaud all his schemes though never so ridiculous give in to his sentiments though most apparently unjust and knowing his foible turn and wind him at their pleasure in full confidence of these two bosom friends he ventured to take an hour's repose but as soon as a credulous fool fell fast asleep they strangled him and seized the glorious prize their next business was to divide the plunder fairly between them an affair not easily accomplished for villains seldom can agree in any point but the bare execution of their crimes one of these hypocrites with a philosophic air addressed his companion brother says he of what service is all this hoard of gold to us a hare or a rabbit had been a better booty these same guineas will prove but a poor meal we have not stomachs like the ostrich to digest them what fools men are to make this gold their god brother let us be wiser the other with equal hypocrisy replied your observations are strictly just brother and i'll assure you they have made a convert of me i am now fully convinced that the philosopher is the happy man and for the future like bias of old i'll carry all i have about me they affected to depart from the ill-gotten worthless treasure without reluctance both lay in ambuscade and conscious of their mutual guilt destroyed each other one as he lay expiring thus addressed his dying partner what would you have done with all that gold had you succeeded the same replied the other as you proposed had fortune favored you by accident a passenger going by and inquiring into the fatal cause of their disaster declared they were both fools fools as we are says one of them you men are just the same gold is no more food for you than us and yet you'll cut your brother's throat for gain before this unhappy accident our prudent race despised the fatal charm that which you introduced for the conveniency of life is now become its greatest torment you fly from true felicity in search after an imaginary good end of the dragon and two foxes by francois fenelon 1651 to 1715 from ethic amusements ethic tales and fables published 1770